Hello, Bishop Wooden here. I have three words to say to you. Tonight, tonight, tonight. <laughs> We're going to study the Word of God together tonight. I am excited about Bible study, and I want you to come, and I want you to come out on time. You know, this is the year of honoring God, and one of the ways we're honoring God is that we're honoring the God of the Bible with our attendance. We're honoring the Lord with the way we approach Him, and we're accepting the challenge here's yeah, a challenge now to attend church uh, as we ought on a regular basis so I'm looking for you tonight to meet me here at the upper room for Bible study and in this crazy world and there's so much going on I want to tell you that you are and I am who the God of the Bible tells us or says we are we get our identity from the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord is more powerful than physical evidence that may be to the contrary. The word of the Lord is the most powerful thing that there is. We are who he says that we are. And I got some things to tell you about who the Lord said we are. And in this crazy world. You know, I was watching the other day uh, where ESPN, uh, the sports station, uh, removed a, um, transferred a commentator from a game that is September the 2nd, there's going to be a game between the University of Virginia and uh, William and Mary College uh, University. And uh, the guy's name happens to be Robert Lee. Now, Robert Lee is no kin to the Confederate soldier Robert E. Lee. This Robert Lee is Asian. And yet, the because they're afraid of political incorrectness, I guess, or their desire to be politically correct or not to, um, uh, you know, to, to upset anyone, they moved this man because his name happened to be Robert Lee, although he bears no kinship whatsoever with Robert E. Lee, who's been dead for over a hundred and um, uh, a century or so. But listen. The God of the Bible keeps us sane, keeps us strong, and keeps us going forward in his name. And with all of this craziness, I want to tell you that Jesus is beautiful. Jesus is powerful. Jesus is the first and the last. And I have some things to say to you tonight about Jesus Christ. Upper room members, meet me for Bible study. All who are spiritually connected to the things of God and you love your church and you love uh, worship, meet me for Bible study. And those visitors who are watching, meet me for Bible study. Come one, come all, and let's study the word of the Lord together. Now I'm going to get back to this because I have some things to tell you tonight. I'll see you.